Okay, there's something I want to throw out there in case anybody's interested. Uh, this, it's this idea of a solar eclipse during the Paschal full moon. I'll leave the link in the description. Maybe somebody out there already knows about this. Uh, this is new to me, and uh, I'm kind of studying something else, so I don't want to go in that direction, but if somebody's interested, maybe they can um, find out something more about this. So, uh, Like I said, I'll leave the link in, in the description below, and uh, somebody want, wants to run with it, that's great. Um, and then uh, that's all I have to say on that, and uh, I found it interesting. And uh, also f find it encouraging that uh, I saw a pastor talking about the flat earth in a positive, open-minded way, in a serious way, and uh, I wish there was more people out there that took the Bible that serious. Geocentric and heliocentric. So what does that mean? It's just a big word. You pay for the education of the folks know you go to school. Here's what it means. Geocentric means that the Earth is the center of the universe. Heliocentric means that the sun is the center of the universe, known universe, our solar system. And everything revolves around the sun. With a geocentric view, the sun the guy's ears perking up. around the earth. And the earth is fixed people want to where it is. Now, people want to learn about this stuff. My little, my little uh, excursion into this has revealed that most of the people that believe in a geocentric view of the earth also believe that the earth is flat. All right, now I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm a Sunday school class where the preacher believes that we have a flat earth. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I believe it. But I like debate, don't you? I'm going to throw some things out there. Sitting on the porch swing, thinking about me, I was low as a dog with no head of breeze. My friend said, stop whining like a pup. Here, read the Bible, it'll cheer you up. Hey, hey, hey. I opened the page to the very first verse. The Bible's a history book of the universe. It's the inspired word of God, and it's true. I plan to read it all the way through. Hey, hey. hey. 